question from Archer Q Bank. Topic, Dig Oxen. Watch until the end for a high chance of passing the exam. The nurse is providing a client with discharge instructions on his newly initiated Dig Oxen. Which of the following statements by the client indicates that he correctly understood the instructions? Select all that apply. A. If I note color vision changes, I will call my eye doctor right away. B. I will check my pulse before each dose, and if my pulse is less than 60 BPM, then I will not take the digoxin and call my doctor. C. I will increase my calcium intake significantly. D. I will make sure I get enough potassium in my daily diet. E. The water pills that I am on may increase the risk of side effects with digoxin. F. I should avoid medications that have licorice extract. Choices B, D, E, and F are correct. Explanation. A nurse should understand the mechanism of action of digoxin to understand its uses, side effects, monitoring responsibilities, and patient education elements. Digoxin is a cardiac glycoside that acts via the sodium, potassium pump in the myocardium. It has a notoropic, influences contractility, chronotropic, influences heart rate, and remotoropic, influences conduction speed, effects. Digoxin is a positive inotrope, increases the power of heart contraction, negative chronotrope, decreases heart rate by its effect on sinus node, and negative dromotorope. Reduces the speed of conduction by acting at atrioventricular node level. Due to these cardiac effects of digoxin, it is often used in patients with congestive heart failure and arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation. However, digoxin has a narrow therapeutic index, which can cause significant side effects, such as cardiac arrhythmias, e.g., bradycardia, heart block, ventricular arrhythmias, even at plasma. Concentrations only twice the therapeutic plasma concentration range. Therapeutic serum digoxin levels range from 0.5 to 2 nanograms per milliliter. A level higher than 2 nanograms per milliliter is considered toxic. The nurse needs to understand digoxin's side effects and offer proper education to the clients. Some early side effects of digoxin include visual aberrations, yellowish-green color changes or halos, and gastrointestinal side effects like nausea, vomiting, and lack of appetite. The first cardiac side effects include bradycardia, reduced heart rate, but cardiac arrhythmias can follow later. It is essential to monitor these early side effects, so the next dose of digoxin can be held and the physician can be notified. For inpatients, the nurse should always check the apical heart rate for one full minute before giving digoxin. If the heart rate is less than 60 adults, the nurse should hold the medication and notify the physician. The heart rate threshold for holding digoxin differs based on the age groups. In a child, the threshold is less than 70 beats per minute, and in an infant, it is less than 90 to 110 beats per minute. For patients being discharged home, education should be given to monitoring their pulse before every dose of digoxin. If the pulse is less than 60, hold the medication and call their doctor, choice B. Some patients are prone to digoxin toxicity more than others. Certain electrolyte imbalances such as hypokalemia, less than 3.5 mech per liter, hypercalcemia, greater than 10.2 mg per ml, and hypomagnesemia, less than 1.5 mg per dl, can increase the toxicity. Patients on diuretics concomitantly for heart failure are prone to more side effects because diuretics tend to cause hypokalemia, choice C. Such patients need to be educated regarding consuming adequate potassium-rich diets, choice D. Elderly patients are at more risk for toxicity because they have an age-dependent decrease in liver and kidney functions. Digoxin is metabolized via the liver and kidney, so lower kidney liver function predisposes to toxicity. Patients taking calcium channel blockers, CCBS, are also at risk for digoxin toxicity. The nurse should also be aware of specific over-the-counter medications that precipitate digoxin, toxicity, and educate patients accordingly. These include ephedra, which increases cardiac stimulation, and licorice extract, choice F, which acts like aldosterone, causing sodium and water retention while increasing potassium loss. Hypokalemia, in turn, precipitates digoxin toxicity. Choice A reflects an incorrect statement by the patient. The patient should be cautioned that vision changes like yellow-green color distortions may signify early toxicity. The patient should call the prescribing physician as soon as possible to determine the cause and hold digoxin early. 
the prescribing physician rather than the eye, doctor should be contacted because precious time may be wasted addressing digoxin toxicity. Choice C reflects an incorrect statement by the patient. Any action that precipitates hypercalcemia should be avoided because high calcium increases toxicity. There is no need to increase calcium intake significantly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and watch playlist for more videos.